Hi there, in this video we will learn about the operations of vectors or matrices. Primarily let us consider some vectors. If we want to multiply two vectors, it has to go through a certain process and let us see what that process is. Let us consider that we have a column vector and we have a row vector. In column vector the number of columns is equal to 1 and in the row vector the number of column uh, rows is equal to 1 and uh, we are representing the column vector with small u and row vector with small v. These are uh, two uh, of these matrices uh, which are specifically speaking vectors. So this is a column vector and this is a row vector. You can see there are two rows and there is only one column and here there is only one row and there are three columns. So the order is written in the subscript just for the sake of understanding. Now if we want to multiply these, we have to check the conformity condition and that condition is that we should write the order of the two matrices to be multiplied. Yes, we have to multiply u with v. So we wrote its uh, order here 2 into 1 and the order of vector v, uh, v which is 1 into 3. What we need to check is that if the internal um, terms are equal to each other, that is this is the internal term and this is the internal term that is inside because 2 and 3 are on the outside of uh, this uh, diagram. So if these two are equal it means that we can multiply these two matrices or vectors otherwise we cannot. So since these are equal it means that there is conformity which is holding so conformity condition of multiplication is being fulfilled. Now these two remaining um, uh, terms will be used that is 2 and 3. They will define the order of the resultant matrix. So the resultant matrix will have two rows and three columns. Now we can check this. There is a certain way in which we multiply the two uh, matrices. Uh, we will multiply, we will start with the first uh, row and we know that in the first row there is only three. So three to be multiplied with the first element of the column of the second matrix. So the method is row into column. So we are starting with the first element of the row and that is 3 and then we multiply it with 1 and then we multiply this 3 with 4 and then we multiply this 3 with 5. Then we have to the second element of the second row and this row has this element of 2. So 2 gets multiplied with 1 and 2 also gets multiplied with 4 and then 2 gets multiplied with 5. So row into column. This is the first row containing 3 and this is the first column, the second column and the third column. Then the second row and then the first, second and third column. This will give us this form of the um, products and finally solving these we will get this which is the product of the two vectors that is u and v. So we should check if the order is same. Yes, it should be two rows and three columns. Yes, there are two rows horizontally and three columns vertically. So it is getting satisfied. Another example is here. Uh, we have an order of 1 into 2 and 2 into 1. When I write these two uh, for their orders, it will be like this. The internal members are equal. So conformity exists and the remaining uh, digits will tell us about the order of the resultant matrix. So it will be 1 into 1. So 3, the first row into the column, column is 9, 7. So 3 into 9 plus 4 into 7 because this was the first row and it had two elements. So it got multiplied with the uh, column and there is only one column. Since there is only one column and uh, one row and one column, this is why uh, we have only one term as a result of the product and 3 into 9 and 4 into 7. Finally, we have the answer which is five, 55. And it is 1 into 1 because there is only one row and one column in this case. 
so we have another example here uh, we have uh, this u and we have to find out u into ut ut basically is another thing that we will study a little while later so we linger this example for a while so here we are using another type of uh, vector which is known as null vector in which all the elements are zero uh, so zero is uh, uh, here in the first row and in the second row as well and this is o bar which is the reversal of the rows and columns which gives rise to transpose because if i convert this column into row it will become transpose of the original matrix so we have calculated the matrix as well uh, that is the transpose matrix or transpose vector these are known as the null matrices because all of the members are zero no matter there is only one element which is zero or there are many elements that are zero now we can do another matrix operation here uh, the operation of uh, difference and here we can subtract the three vectors first second and third the condition for addition or subtraction of matrices or vectors is that they should hold the same order and here you can see the order is two rows and one column two rows and one column two rows and one column so these are uh, in in a position that we can add them or subtract them so here v1 v2 and v3 they have been subtracted and the answer is zero and the second member is also zero so it's a null vector now you can pause the video and add these three matrices and find the answer the order will be the same as the order of the uh, various v uh, vectors because the order will remain the same so the addition and subtraction can be done in this way and now we continue with the uh, operations and in this case we are basically going to uh, prove or observe the various laws of matrices commutative associative and distributive in the commutative law the order of the two matrices will be reversed and then we will see if the answer remains the same so here we can see that there is sum of the two uh, matrices and here it is uh, a plus b and we are reversing the order here and it becomes b plus a so they will be equal but if we multiply and reverse the order they will not be equal it will give rise to this uh, inequality we can verify this a b will not be equal to b a but their sum will be equal to each other now this is a vector uh, matrix A and this is matrix B. Uh, we, you, can, you can pause the video and calculate the value of A, B, the product of these two matrices and the product of these two matrices while keeping B before A. Here the product is calculated while placing A before B. So you see the answers, they are not the same. It means that this commutative property is not being verified. Whereas if you add these two matrices, the answer will be the same. Again, you can pause the video and do this calculation. Now the associative law uh, is there and it holds in case of addition and multiplication. That is this law we are adding. This is the associative law for addition and this is the uh, associative law for multiplication. Here we have three matrices A, B and C. Here we find the term a b and uh, we multiply it with c so this was the product of a and b while keeping a before b and then the answer is multiplied with c so this is c and this is a now we multiply these and we get this answer which is the answer of a b into c a b are primarily multiplied and then we multiply the answer with c now we talk about the left hand side we need b c first so multiplying b and c while keeping b before c and then we multiply it with a so here we are a is being multiplied afterwards so this is the answer of the left hand side and when we compare the two answers they are the same so it means that the associative law for multiplication is getting verified you can pause the video and you can verify if this holds 
uh, and yes it will then it is left for you to do the rehearsal of and here we have the verification of it finally the distributive law which is here and we are going to do it for addition and uh, multiplication is also used in it um, this is where b plus c is calculated by taking the sum of b and c and then we multiply it with a and here we are a is being multiplied so here we have the final answer then we have a b and a c so separately we will calculate a b and a c uh, a b is already found up here so we will borrow this here we have borrowed it and a c is not there so we have to calculate a c multiplying a and c while keeping a before c so this is the answer of a c and we put it here and now we add these two when we add these two we get the sum which is the right hand side so this is the left hand side this is the right hand side the answers they are the same it means that distributive law is also holding true for matrices so in this way we have uh, understood various laws of matrices and also that how we can multiply two vectors or matrices. The division operation is not performed here because it is slightly different and in that we will resort to some other concepts. So that will be done in the next video. Thanks.